Hi everyone, this is Carla the Bubble Lush with the Five Waiting Rooms Collaboration Channel. In this series, we're going back to basics. Welcome to TTC 101, Choosing a Basal Body Thermometer. Digital basal thermometers differ from conventional basal thermometers in that their reading is more accurate to one hundredth of a degree or two significant figures, such as 97.54 degrees instead of the 97.5 degrees that your conventional thermometer will read. This increased accuracy helps to note minor trends in your temperatures if you take your temperatures at the consistent time each day. Otherwise, it's just one more thing to stress over. All basal thermometers are not the same. One main difference is the tip. It can either be rigid or flexible. Now this comes down to personal preference, but in my experience, I would suggest a rigid tip if temping orally and a flexible tip if temping vaginally. It's a matter of comfort during insertion. Now keep in mind that once you decide whether to temp orally or vaginally, you need to remain consistent throughout your cycle. Vaginal temperatures tend to be a little higher. Also keep in mind that ear and forehead thermometers are not accurate enough to charge your BBT by and should just be used to check for fevers. Nowadays, most digital thermometers have a memory recall feature. That is, it'll flash the last reading if the button is depressed or upon startup. This really comes in handy on Saturday mornings when you want to sleep in. All you have to do is just set your alarm clock for the time that you usually wake up during the work week, take your temperature, and then go back to sleep. Later in the morning when you wake up, you simply depress the button and see the, what the last reading was, and then you can enter it in your BBT graph. My thermometer has a five reading memory. This comes in handy on uh, long weekends or on short vacations because although I take my temperature every day at the same time, I can wait until it's convenient for me to enter the readings. Now I bought my flexible tip thermometer at Target in the fall of 2008 and though, although it's no longer for sale at Target, I would encourage you to find one with similar features. One more thing to keep in mind. Most of the time you'll be taking your temperature first thing in the morning before the sun has lit up your bedroom. This makes it really hard to read the screen, so if you're able to find a basal thermometer with a backlit feature, buy it. Otherwise, keep your cell handy because you're going to be reading your temperatures by the light of your cell phone. I hope this helps you pick your best basal thermometer for you. If you have any other questions about basal thermometers, feel free to leave them in a comment below. This is Carla the Bubble Lush with Five Waiting Wombs, and you've just been schooled.